but it's always really close. I think for that reason, Shodan might take it because, well, you, like, Shodan doesn't play like IBK at all. Yeah, I was about to say, like, on the other hand, Shodan's playstyle is a lot different than IPK's. His punishes are not at all as good as IPK's, but his neutral is way smarter. And he's not afraid to throw out the aura. Oh yeah, he, he used a lot of aura sphere against me, which is what you're supposed to do. I'm sure doesn't have a good answer to it. Since All right. I, I can't jab, tilt, smash attack, or aerial those things. I gotta oh my like, god, that did 11%? What did? Just like one little aura bomb. It just did yeah. 11%. Fully charged. Uh, the, the like aura super bomb does like 25%. And the next one I think does 18 I could be wrong. Though. I'm not really sure. Yeah. All right, so bye, Arrow. Kill. Oh my goodness. Starting it off good for Showtime. He's just holding on to that banana. He's like, I'm not gonna let you have this. So here's the thing about IPK: is that his neutral with Lucario. I don't think it's very good. I feel like it gets. It, it often runs into characters or players that it just like doesn't have an answer to. It's not. It's not varied. It's not expansive. His neutral. His neutral is good at like some very specific things, but has some very like gaping, you know, playstyle holes. Because you've got to be able to play your character a bunch of different ways. You got to be able to play aggressive, uh, defensive, no matter what character it is or what is best for them. You got to be able to match every playstyle you can run into, right? Um, IPK plays more or less a similar neutral, no matter who he plays. Showtime, I feel like, has the most adaptable neutral. Showtime is a really good set of fundamentals. This guy um, can play every single character in the game to pretty much the same degree. Like, he's he's confident in everyone. Really well-rounded. I mean, you don't get to be a random player as good as Showtime oh, what without was that? having fundamentals. Was that a, not possible. Was that a reverse aura bomb? Yeah, he's been doing a lot of he weird aura He reversed the aura bomb. <laughs> yeah. Or bomb's not a very big thing in Lucario's meta. It needs to be expanded upon. He's got an aura back. It's very easy for people to avoid it, but I mean, in the situations where it's a good idea, you're usually playing off of that fact, the fact that they uh, are avoiding it, then you can guarantee another option. Yeah. Like, oh, there's an aura bomb in front of them. They're going to do this alternate route because the aura bomb cuts off their main route. Yeah, it's just, just cover that. It's putting them in, in a predictable path that you can punish. Yeah. It's really nice to have something on stage or that you can uh, play yeah. off. Of. Or you're like if you're gonna throw it in an edge guard situation, it's limiting your edge. Ed, it's li it's limiting your recovery options to a predictable path where you can punish and take the stock. Yeah. So like you can um, throw an aura bomb at the edge when they are off stage, and you know for a fact that they're gonna recover low now. So you can just like do a drop zone aerial, for example. You can do things like that. It just cuts off one of their options, and then that gives you a lot to work with already. Unfortunately, your like regular R sphere does that to a good degree. It's not as powerful and doesn't stay out as long, but the Dewar bomb like lingers there a long time. Canceling up B is just too precious a resource. It's like usually the top priority for your uh, for our uses. That oh. would be if you could hit it and get the kill. Oh, no. wow. I'm surprised you didn't get hit by that banana. I know, I was waiting really. for it. He just kind of fell equally with it. Wow. Arrow's item plays looking real fancy. He's back <laughs> to the stage. Back to even, too. Showtime's been a uh, full stock up this whole time up until now. Okay. Oh. Good up throw. Up throw is, I think, the objectively better option. So up throw and down throw Lucario are a mix up. So if you DI correctly for up throw, it's poor DI for down throw and the reverse. But between the, the two of them, I want to say up throw has some guaranteed follow-ups on a lot of the cast, just regardless of their DI. So it's sort of like the default. I feel like up throw should be your first option, and if they're DIing that right, then you throw in down throw occasionally, rather than the other way around. <laughs> he got it, but he got punished for catching the peanut. Yeah, that'll happen because you don't have the uh, you don't have a lot of your moves once you've got an item in your hands. It's something that a lot of Peach players will take uh, advantage of in melee. Because if their opponent picks up uh, like a turnip or something, then you just lay into them and they don't really have a very good option. Yeah, because other than like just Z dropping it. Yeah, all they can do is Z drop and throw it. 
Z dropping is really your best option because it has no animation and it's active frame one. And that way it can sort of act as a combo breaker a lot of the time. If you are playing a character like uh, Diddy or Peach, if you're playing against them, then you might want to consider using their projectile as a combo breaker sometimes. All right, so now you just need to take this stock. Yeah, this is, Arrow's really pulling away with this. He took control of the match really hard and still hasn't lost that same stock that he took control with. It was three stocks to two at one point. And now it's I two know. to one in the opposite direction. They're both playing really smartly. Yeah, they, neither of them want to die. Arrow's still got another life. 90%. You can work with that. As Lucario, you have like a pretty solid recovery and weight. As long as you've got a uh, charge, which Showtime really doesn't right now, so his recovery is actually quite normal. Oh, he missed the... He missed the ledge. Yeah, he went down and angled left, and I think the correct answer would have been going left and angling down. But I'm not confident on that. It that was that was a wonky wrong. angle. He was he was at like a, a weird distance away from the ledge to where it made it a little bit difficult. Yeah. Yeah, that was an odd spot. I feel like. No. Yeah. Yeah, best of five. Be. It's semis, right? There's nine stages. There should be two bands. I don't know where it started, the weird tendency for people to try like less bands in PM. Because at the very worst, you have five stages to work with. If you take into account the two bands in the two previous rounds on a game five with Dave's stupid rule, you always have five stages to work with. That's plenty. You don't need to limit the number of bands. David's Melee stupid has rule. six stages ever. And you have five after four bands. You're fine. No, we need less bands. Oh, Jesus. Just page one. Yeah. We have so many stages in PM. You should be able to make it. Oh, nice, he missed it. Size stage list, like nine or ten. Nine oh. seems like a nice number right now, though. Okay. That was some squid DI right there. Arrow is continuing his uh, momentum, his control of the previous match, carried over to here. He's now taking the first stock and is making quick work of the second one. That's what you gotta do. 88%. So oh. he's got a chance to punish him. He messes it up. Still in control though. Mm. If you drop the punish, it's not so bad as long as you still have control. Alright, there we go. Jordan taking that stock. 88%, one aura charge online. Uh, Showtime's always had really good use of down B. I always liked that. I feel like it's a move that IPK neglects a lot in neutral. Oh! And he is dead. Yeah. Alright, so if I'm Showtime, I kind of want to play on the ledge right now. I want to get an up throw, down throw mix up into a side beat because Lucario's spike will kill Diddy and most of the cast. Right at, off the like, bat. Just almost nothing. If not zero, then by 20% everyone should die. Probably zero. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're on Fountain and you're dead. Oh, I. You I might had, be able to live then. I had a question about this earlier. Okay. So, Lucario's aura charge side B, does that. Can you DI that or does it set it at saying. You can DI it. Okay. Uh, it's a spike, so it sends down and away. Yeah, so if you DI it in, like the correct DI, it'll, it'll go straight down, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um. Yeah, but that doesn't turn it into a meteor or anything. If you can DI it, try to you could try to DI it close to the stage. You can never go straight down though. You're always gonna go at somewhat of an angle. Okay, so you're just gonna slip. Yeah. There's like okay, so with Falco's dare, it works a similar way. But at least with that move, you have the option to SDI the dare really hard, right? So really hard inward to the stage, and your character teleports like two feet inward. And then you just hit the edge of the stage. With Lucario's side B, it has the great benefit of being a grab that cannot be SDI'd, obviously. So, if he gets the spike, a lot of the times you are just dead and you have to accept it. It's not like a secret SDI counterplay to it. Kind of zone out for a second, all of a sudden, like, yeah. he's down. Yeah, Arrow is Arrow's up like two stocks. And he has not given it up yet. <laughs> the B reversing those peanut guns. Oh my goodness, Arrow, your item play. Yeah, uh... <laughs> He's got like three peanuts up there. <laughs> I feel like this is a pretty bad stage to have taken Diddy to. 
one, because there's no platforms, and platforms offer a sort of sanctuary from... Wow, that was weird looking. Yeah, platforms give you a way to escape the banana peanut game to yeah. a degree. Not only that, but this is an incredibly long stage. It just gives him room to You have no choice work. but to be grounded. I mean, those if you are... have good air mobility, you might be able to like weave around the bananas, but Lucario has one of the worst air mobilities in the game right now, if not the worst. I th Snake might still be worse, even though he got like a buff in that regard. The point is, it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, I would have taken Arrow to like Fountain. I feel like Fountain's a good pick. It's a small stage. His neutral is going to be really handicapped by the fact that there's platforms and a small stage base, which means he doesn't get to abuse his like glide tosses and range. Delfino, though. Delfino's is an interesting pick. It's I wouldn't say it's good, but it's better than FD. It's not bad. Sure. He's got the platforms, and they're at a very nice, comfortable height where projectiles are going to be a little bit hard to use. Um, however, it is a really long, so uh, really long stage. Yeah. So. If you give Diddy a space, oh, that was he's going to make the most of it. Yeah, that was a really bad air dodge. There's been a lot of weird SDs today from all sorts of people. Like Arrow earlier. And he's going to take that to the bank. This is... Uh, Arrow was not happy about his loss in winners. So, you know. You should... <laughs> Never, never do, never do the uh, honor suicide. That's just a bad move. Oh no. Yeah, I'm sorry. If you're like at up in bracket, like you're top level players, that's a, you're at a point where your SDs should not even be happening. Yeah, you can't. I don't. Part of me doesn't really like complaining about SDs because people be like, if I didn't SD there, this uh, game would have been different. I would have had a full stock at the end. That's not necessarily true because your opponent's play style is changing depending on number of stocks that you got. If you had that extra stock, they'd probably be playing a lot differently. <laughs> what are they doing? To account for it. Yeah, I don't know. This is really odd. Showtime, where were you going? Their offstage shenanigans have been... I know, just been like... Really offbeat. They haven't even been good offstage shenanigans. Uh -oh. They've just been like both... Like, what are you wow, doing, was, Arrow? No, he, that was that was a really good option. No, I know. I was like... Any other Diddy would have upbeat there, and it wouldn't have sweet spotted, and Showtime would have punished it. But in that situation, Nero was able to get the sweet spot with the weird we reverse wall climb with his gun. Alright. Good bear. Alright. That's weird. Lucario's bear is kind of like a little Gandorf bear. Lucario's bear's sweet spot is the little... Okay, if you notice when he bears, there's like a little burst of energy that's completely yeah. separate of his hand kind of off to the side. That is the sweet spot. It will kill you at surprisingly early percentages. If he hits with his arm or any part of his body, it's not really going to kill you. He and needs to get a kill. This is slipping away. No, I think this is looking like a 3-0. Arrow has had control this whole set. He has not lost control. Showtime has not yet made the adaptations he needs in order to take this. And it shows. down a stock now. It has been looking pretty much the same this whole set. And Arrow's a at a fresh stock, too. Yeah. Showtime. Or he there. could do that. <laughs> right, killed him. That's what he needs. This is still even, but Arrow, Arrow's, been... Arrow's still the favorite at this even percent because he's had control this whole time. He's shown that he knows what to do. Showtime has not yet shown that he is the uh, the great epiphany to turn this losing matchup into a good one. And I generally think Lucario has a hard time with Diddy Kong. Because Lucario's air that. mobility is so bad, he doesn't really have an air game. Uh, he has to stay pretty grounded, and Diddy Kong thrives against people who have to stay grounded. Especially when you have forcing the opponent to try to weave around those projectiles. Yeah. Alright. Almost got oh. it. This could be it. This could be what he wanted. All right. Now he has no aura charge, so this That's is looking, not good. This is looking really bad, honestly. All right, he manages to make it back. Arrow didn't go for the edge which could have sealed it up. He was just trying to get like. <laughs> He's probably like wanting to close. Oh my his god. Oh. He almost went off the stage. This is really close right now. 
Oh no. He's got an aura charge now. He uses it on his down B. Grab, down throw, it and there's work. the fair. I think that might be it. No, he's going to survive just a little longer. Oh, peanuts. He doesn't have much left in him, though. Um, oh, good. Good choice. <laughs> that would have auto-snapped the ledge, but Arrow got it just in time. Now it's...